Hello and welcome to another 3D printing video. Today I'm going to be working on a really cool light switch. So I have the three components already printed out. I have this uh, this piece printed in copper colored PLA. I have some gold colored PLA and some wood PLA that has wood mixed in with the plastic. And it works pretty well. As you can see it turns off my main source of light. But I kind of want to make it a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go through and paint this copper part a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of a, um, a dry brush silver on it, or maybe, well, I'll see what I'll do with that, but kind of highlight the metal of that. And then I'm going to sand some of this down and add some more wood creases, kind of, I think. It's got some wood grain on it already, you can kind of see. Um, but what I want to do is I want to sand that down and kind of highlight it. Maybe not do anything. Maybe just paint a better wood grain in it. Or just do like a, a dark wash with some brown and black. And kind of make it look more rustic rather than a fresh piece of plastic wood. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the little uh, nubbin, I think it's called. The gold part. But I will paint the screws. Um, I think I might do those silver. Just to kind of highlight it. Or black just to... Uh, do the opposite of highlighting and kind of hide it there or put it out of sight or whatever. Or draw less attention to the screws and more attention to whatever else is going on here. Going on here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get started on that. Okay, to start off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use copper colored. So I kind of thought of something, um, a change in plan for as far as the screws. I want their tops to be kind of the same color as this. Uh, since this isn't very copper color, um, there will be a little bit of a contrast with the actual copper colored paint. So I'm going to do a dry brush on this part and then I'll just cover the tops of those screws with that. So let's get into this. Okay, so I painted it. There's not much of a contrast uh, between the two colors as I thought there was going to be, but it does give it a more shiny, realistic look. So that's, that's good. Okay, so next I have the wooden piece. Uh, this one, I'm not really sure where I'm going to go. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to use a wash. I might do some more dry brushing. Uh, but first, I, I, have some, I have some 40D grit sandpaper. This stuff's an old piece that I just found on the ground. I'll use this to try to give it some texture. Okay, well, that didn't really work. I'm not going to do that. I think I'm just going to get right into painting it. So, I'm not going to do a wash. I'm just, I've just got two acrylic paints, black and brown. I've got two crappy brushes. Hopefully, um, hopefully this will work. Let's start with some brown. Okay, so I guess that's good for right now. I do want to add some darker darkness on that, maybe some more color variation. I'll do that once it dries. Okay, now back to this. I've got some really watery black paint right here. And so I'm gonna use some of this and see how that works. And I've got a paper towel just in case I wanna wipe off excess paint.
Okay, so I think that's actually pretty good. I'll stick with that, that design. Um, maybe I'll do a little bit of brown on top, see if that does anything. Oh, looks like I think that's going to be the final product for that. Next, we're going to color the little nubbin, and I'm going to just basically do some gold on top of it. On top of the gold to make it look better. Okay, so uh, I just kind of covered that. That brush was terrible. It's got solidified other stuff in it, so I made it hard to paint. That's okay. So now I just got to let them dry and put them together and see how it looks. Okay, I believe I have all the pieces painted and ready to put together and put on. Um, yeah, so let's do this. I'm going to have this like this. It could be either upside down or like this, but since it's printed flat, one side is flat of the little switch part, and one side has a little rounded knob uh, handle, and it's got like details like a little crease there. There's some 3D texture and more <clears throat> to this side than not, and people are going to be looking at it when the light's on, so I'm going to have that in the on position. Uh, next we have our this little piece that is gold. I painted gold and that pops right onto our light switch, which I'm going to do that right now, um, which can be a challenge maybe. Hope not. Okay, I think we're, I think we're good. Let's flip that up. And let's put this into place and screw it in. I got my screws right here. Let's do the bottom one first. You guys can't really see the screw, but that's okay. You'll see in a second. There we go. That one's good like that. And then let's see if we can move this down a little bit. I guess it turns the light off. Oh, well. You guys have to endure the darkness. Oh, that works. Okay. It's right on the edge. You know what? I'm going to have to turn the light off. Get that completely out of the way. And finish screwing it in. And... I think, I think that's it. There you have it, let's zoom out a little bit so you guys can see all of it. Turn it on and off just like that. Uh, you, can t you can feel that it's plastic and hear that it's plastic, but I think it looks, it looks very good. Except for the little light switch part coming through, I may want to glue a piece over the top as a cap, um, unless it pushes in further and needs to come out. But I may put something over the top of that and finish painting that gold so it looks solid. Um, but I am I'm very proud of that. There you have it. That is the modified light switch cover that is officially now my light switch cover for my 3D printing room. And we have a lonely looking light switch over across the room with no light switch cover. So we may have to do another one of these. Um, Right now, guys, I'm working on a 500 subscriber special video, which is me talking about 50, the top 50 of my 3D prints that I've made. And it's taking a while, and so as motivation, here's what you guys need to comment. You guys need to comment telling me to get that 500 subscriber special video out. That way it'll come out quicker. Next, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.